the Celtics. They are the team with the undefeated streak that is on the line. So let's start with them. Perk, I want to be very clear. The Celtics, 7-0 and after losses this season. They're coming off a loss. So the Celtics, they win tonight if, fill in the blank for me, please. If Jason Tatum be the best player on the floor, right? And it's time for me to go on the rant right now. Oh, because I'm tired of everybody talking about, oh, Jason Tatum is his first time, rightfully so. Oh, he's young and he's inexperienced. But look, I played on the Oklahoma City Thunder team, and although we didn't win, I did play with three upcoming superstars in Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Russell Westbrook. And I watch Kevin Durant average 30 points at the age of, th at the age of 23 years old, shooting 55% from the field. I also saw a drop-off from James Harden, who was 22 years old, averaged 12 points in the final, shot 37% 37, 37 from the field. So it comes down to do you want it? Like, do you want to embrace this moment? Don't come telling us about making the right play or you had 13 or 9 assists. Like, Steph Curry is getting double team too, and he's averaging 35. So the only way that the Celtics are going to win this game and win this series, if it's Jason Tatum comes out and be a superstar caliber player and find a way to get in rhythm offensively and score the damn basketball. There was a, a whole lot of I, there there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think I heard something about the, 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 the fill in the blank was if Jason Tatum comes out and plays like a superstar. Did I hear that correctly? Yes, you heard all this. OK. All right. So let's then go to the warrior side of things because they're 10 and one at home in the playoffs. Their only loss was that game one of the finals against Boston. So Richard Golden State, they win tonight if. That's a good question. <laughs> uh, no, no, I, I look, I think the Golden State Warriors, they win if Steph Curry continues to play at this level. If Steph Curry continues to play at the rate that he has been. We were going to talk about earlier, a lot of people have talked about Steph doesn't have any help or he's not getting the same type of support. Oh, he's getting plenty of support. He's getting the same amount of support that many other championships and Hall of Famers have gotten during their championship run. So for me, I just believe the Warriors win game five if Steph continues to play at this elite level. I was going ahead to the Warriors because I feel like Perk just took so much of the Celtics there, but I will give you a chance to answer that if you would like. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, you're yeah, good. <laughs> I was agreeing with them. I was saying Jason Tatum. Like, we've seen Steph be, like, look like the best player on the planet, like, like one of the most elite performances. Well, it's time for the best player on the Boston Celtics to have that type of performance. Okay. This is a slug, this is a slug fight. you got to bounce, you got to answer, and you got to, you know, match whatever your opponent's We're doing. Let me ask you this. Let me ask, do you guys think that the Warriors are playing good offense in this series? No, I no. don't. The Celtics are like, Steph, go ahead. Yeah. Yep. And they're averaging 10 points fewer than they did in the Western Conference Finals. They're shooting about 8% less. So I don't know if you can really think Steph's going to score more points. I think he might actually be able to take more shots. I don't know if he can be more efficient. I think they need one of the other guys to have a home playoff game. What I mean by that is hit shots, be, you know, be hot. So Jordan Poole, Clay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins, even though Wiggins played a great overall um, game four. Some of those guys need to just give them a little bit more offensive injection because the Celtics, even though it may look bad that they're not actually doing a great job on Steph Curry, they feel like they're playing good enough defense to win this series. Perk, I'm afraid to give you the Warriors fill in the blank if I feel like the, the answer is just going to be something about the Celtics, but go ahead. <laughs> no, it, no, it's going to be Steph Curry. The Celtics don't show up. No, it's going <laughs> to be, gonna it's be, gonna be Steph Curry continue, continuing to build his legacy towards Mount Rushmore. Now, we sat here, me and Richard had an argument about the whole Mount Rushmore conversation. And what happened over the weekend, what I saw is after game four, what I saw on the social media was I saw LeBron James tweet out, hey, it's only a few chosen ones. I saw Dwayne Wade tweet out, and I don't want to misquote him, but he mentioned something about Steph Curry expanding the Mount Rushmore. So it's crazy when I bring it up a month ahead of time, and then Richard come on here and argue with me, but then the all all Tom Greats are sitting back and watching and basically saying the same damn thing. No, no, it's a, it's adorable. I couldn't agree with you. I couldn't agree it's with adorable. you more. Yeah, it's adorable that you're like kind of pulling out random tweets from people. So, you know, but I understand like Steph Curry, what he did that 43 and 10. Look, I understand because what you referenced was Magic Johnson taking him off that list. You know, Magic did go for 42 in a game clinching game in the finals. But you're right. I believe that that game four performance. Yeah, that definitely takes Magic Johnson off of it. I'm on no. the same page as him. <laughs> I'm on the same page. 
okay if we're agreeing. I, yeah. I think that that 43 Well, what and Dwayne 10, Wade was arguing for was an expansion of Mount Rushmore, not a replacement. It doesn't well, work that right? No, you can't really work. chisel into stone well, like well, that. However, he needs to try. be on there. No, no, no. I, expansion No, we, no we, we, we agree. Okay. We agree. Like, like we yeah, I, I got nothing else to say, but I, I, I agree with that. I want to know, them. was LeBron talking this positively about Steph during those those series you were there? Because LeBron's kind of morphed on him. Now he's praising him up and down. He used to, like, look down at him and give him dirty looks. Well, a lot of it, I won't say dirty looks. I think there was a competitive space. When you're in a competitive space, you do, and we saw it in the last dance with Michael Jordan, I will convince myself of anything that I can to not like you, to hate you, to go do what I need to do. doesn't mean that I don't respect you, and we've even seen that with MJ over the course of his career. He could be best friends with Patrick. Patrick Ewing and Charles Barkley and all of these guys. But once he got between those lines, I can't stand you. I hate you. And I think that's more what Braun is. Well, I don't think there was any love lost in, that, in those moments. Well, that I agree with. One thing I can't, one thing we all can see is that we know who Braun is rooting for in these finals because when the Golden State Warriors are playing well, he is really active on social media. Uh, when it's he's the other, rooting for who's when, ever playing when the Celtics. The, when he it's hates the, I understand. When it's the Boston Lakers, Celtics, Celtics, he's quiet in the church mouth. Well... <laughs> The Warriors and the Celtics, they're both undefeated coming off of losses. But since the start of the conference semis, they've struggled to string together consecutive wins. So that's what we're going to be looking at. Is this the time that Golden State is going to be able to take a strong hold on this series? Or is this one of these things where we're just going to keep trading off and potentially go the distance? We will see. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.